check my heart rate. Hey man, trying to get in shape. I got my Fitbit ready. It's telling me to go for a walk right now. Maybe I should go for a walk. So what is up you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty. And you know, I'm sorry I've been a little bit slow releasing videos to you guys. And man, it's been really hard. A lot of stuff been going on. I'm sure you've been reading and hearing all about it here in Hong Kong. But anyway, today is kind of a relaxing day and I got some fan mail. So let's open some mail today, see what we've got. And I don't know whether the little surprise that I have, maybe a little store update and some upcoming videos I can tell you about. Yeah, should be a lot of fun. So here we go. So a few months ago, I did receive this postcard, but I thought it's appropriate to put it on this video with this mail. So we keep it all together there. But look at that. How pretty is that? If you can see it there, this is a nice postcard. I love receiving stuff like this. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I won't disclose the name or anything like that. I keep it a secret, but it says, first of all, thank you very much for the online store. And thank you guys for actually supporting the store and the really cool reviews. You're welcome. I try to keep them cool as much as I can. Here are some impressions of my region in Germany. There's Germany. Man, look at that. It looks so peaceful. Hope you like that. I love it. It's amazing. Thank you so much for this. In fact, I think I'm going to just hang the postcard behind me. Hang on one second. Hang this up right there. So thank you so much. If you would like to send a postcard, go for it. I think it's amazing. It's awesome to read your kind words. It keeps me doing these videos for you guys. In the description, you'll find the address. So there you go. Yeah. All right. Bad mail. Here we go. Now this one, of course, again, I have to keep it discreet. It's from the US. I tried to hide the name so you guys can't tell who it's from, but thank you so much. I'm gonna use my bare hands to rip this thing open. I wonder what it is, it's pretty big. You know, I really, really, really appreciate you guys sending me this gift. And by the way, there's one subscriber, Lewis, who sent me the train. I'm actually halfway through it right now. So I get to review that pretty soon for you. There's one, look, it's in so many packages. One package, another package here. What is this? Hide the name. First one. This one says, for Ida, for my wife. I thank you for all the help you've given me in tracking down Oxford blocks and other sets. You're very welcome, but can I open it please? No, I guess not, huh? Okay, I'll save this for Ida, bring it back to her, and maybe she'll let me open it or bring it back to the office. And woo hoo hoo hoo. Wow, what is this? Okay, I'm gonna pull it out, ready? Ready? Whoa, Kobe. Ooh, we got a message here. It says, hi, Scotty. I thought you might enjoy this set since it's brand you don't seem to have easy access to in Hong Kong. And this is from subscriber Hazel. And she does comment all the time. So thank you so much, Hazel. This is amazing. Look at this. I'm going to take off your message and put it over here first. This is from a brand called Kobe. This is my first Kobe set. Very cool. I'm excited. This is really neat. And it's a space theme too. Space is kind of the new thing for 2019. Space, it's happening right now. And Kobe is a Poland brand, if I'm not mistaken. I would love to sell their sets to you guys, but it's like super, first of all, I don't even know if they have a factory in China, but I had to order it from Europe and send it back here and send it back out. It just doesn't make sense. And it's quite expensive to get for me too. So th Hazel, thank you so much. I'm so excited. The box is very spacey looking and it is slightly open. Maybe they inspected it in the mail. They're like, is this Lego? What is this? And why is it coming back to China if it's a brick brand? I don't know, but there's a manual right here. So I'm gonna pull this out and just show you guys the booklet there. And I will build this later and I'll review it for you guys. I'll give it justice. Thank you, Hazel. But there it is. Here's the manual and look cool. I like the fact that the space shuttle and the thing can open up. Very nice. And look, there's more sets on the back there. There's the London bus and I actually have the Lego one right there. Right there, yeah? I'll get to that one of these days. But look, look at the kids there. You have two kids? That kid just does not look like he wants to be in the photo. He's like... Anyway, very cool, Hazel. Thank you so much. So I'll save this for a build for another day. And let's see. Okay, so the last fan mail is actually from my mom because you know moms are usually the number one fans, right? So, and I was kind of surprised to get this. So thank you, mom, for this. Check this out, look at that. I have never heard of this brand before. How come? This is a local brick brand from Hong Kong and they're called Tiny Block. Does that look familiar to you? 
It's another Mr. Softy ice cream truck. Now this is actually really interesting. I've never heard of this brand. And I think it's a nano block. It looks really small, it's a tiny block. Let's see, let's open it right now while it's here and just double check this thing. Cause you know, I'll put the box here for you guys. Let's open this up and oh look. It's not, it is actually a regular bricks. Look at that, look at the stickers. This almost looks like the Royal Toys one. Ooh, Royal Toys, you got some competition. In fact, this is so small, it's only one bag. I think I'll just speed build this right now really quickly for you guys, because I've never heard of this brand, and it's small, it's really, really small. Let's do it, let's do it real quick, all right? I'm smelling it, I'm making sure it's okay. It actually feels pretty okay. I wonder where they're sourcing these bricks from. So far so good, clutch is good. The instruction manual angle is a little bit tricky. It's the rendering or something, a little bit hard to tell, blend in there. You have to look really, really carefully. So, just so you know. Okay, so the manual right here actually shows the steps. It's kind of ahead of itself, so they put the pieces on, not like Lego, you know, Lego actually babysits you and shows you one by one. You have to look really carefully at this and make sure you're using the right pieces. I use a flashlight on this phone because the tiles are so dark, I can't even see it properly. I like here on the manual, it's like two pieces of those, two pieces of those, two pieces of those, two pieces of those, and one piece of blank. Stickers will go over tiles, my friend. Cardboard cut. All right, there it is. Tiny blocks, Mr. Softy ice cream truck. It's a lot smaller than the other one. And you know, maybe I'll show you some close-ups of this so you can get an idea really quick. Lots of stickers, sticker quality looks pretty okay because they're small, the transparency looks all right. It just looks like the Royal Toys one, but smaller. You want something a little bit smaller. This one is good. Minifigure can sit inside. There are no minifigures with the set. 
One can fit in the front, one can operate in the back, but there's nothing that opens up, no doors or anything, so it's really hard to get in there. And the clutch is super, super tight, which is a good thing too. If I do a drop test like that, man, it's bouncing, man. Yeah, good bounce. There really isn't much of a detail on the inside. There's no containers that open up. There's just like two little joystick as an ice cream machine. And there's a little payment sticker on the inside where you tap the card, you pay for the ice cream there. The sticker details like the words are really nice and clean. So that's nice. And in the front, there's no dashboard, just a chair steering wheel. That's it, man. But at least it tries to emulate what the real thing looks like. I might as well pull out its competitor. Tiny Block versus Royal Toys. There you go. Two to compare side by side. Yeah, two completely different sizes. They almost look similar. Let's go in here a little bit close up and just show you guys here. There we go. There you go. The logos and the stickers are almost the same as well. That's kind of scary. Let's look at the back. Here's the back. Here's the back here. Interesting. So there, now you guys can pick which one you like. All right, just really quickly, guys, here's the dimensions if you're really interested in this set, which is available on their website. I'll put the link in the description so you can buy it from them worldwide. Don't need to buy it from us. But anyway, here we go on a 32 by 32 base plate. That is around 16 studs by length. And if I swivel it this way, swivel, swivel, right there, it's roughly like between six to seven studs by width. And for the height, twist it a little bit so you can see, it's kind of close to this, pops up a little bit up here, but one more brick would be a little bit too high. So it's around seven and a half bricks in height. So there you go, there's your dimensions. Now let's put it on a road and see what it's like. You know what, just for, for kicks. Here's Hopper's ride from Stranger Things. I'll put it side by side for comparison so you can kind of get an idea. Yeah, it looks kind of cool like that. What do you guys think? So there you go, dimensions, scale comparison, just for you. Well, there you go. That was an unexpected build I just did for you guys. So thank you so much for the gift, Hazel, and for the postcard over there from you in Germany. It looks lovely. I'll always be reminded of your hometown by looking at that. That is very, very cool. As for the online store, you guys are really, really supportive, the ones that are buying from us. And there are a lot of email inquiries and we're trying our best to keep up with everybody now that more and more people are shopping on the store. And the good thing is, is that more products are coming. We're getting some new ones coming in and we're putting a testimonial page up. So thank you for those of you who have put a testimonial for me. And if you bought from us and you'd like to say something, just email us and we'll throw it on there as well. So thank you so much for your support. You know, we're not perfect, but we're trying our best prices you can just check with us and you know we just want to help you guys get the set if we can so let's see what's new on the store not much here today let's see what we have all right i'll pull it out for you real quick from ultra block these arrived and this one as well this one is an older set apparently that has been reissued so it's available again and i had to review the heritage museum which i actually really like but there's not much to it except the exterior this one Looks like a partial modular there. This is pretty cool. So it's another kind of a heritage, a mix between an architecture and a modular. Pretty interesting, right? So I'm gonna check this one out and maybe we'll put it on the store. I'm not quite sure how available that one is, but we shall try. And these two, these are limited edition again, 7-Eleven from Oxford Block. And these are on the store. Look, it actually has detail in there. I already built mine. Where is it? It's somewhere around here. I'll review it for you guys pretty soon. And I also just finished building this one, which is also Oxford Block, Korean soul food. And other than that, that's it. We're waiting for other sets from other brands that are arriving pretty soon. And I only have older stuff. Any motocross fans here? This one's actually been sitting in the office for a while. This actually looks really cool, some Sambo Block. And I kind of just look, look like the look of it. I'm not a bike guy either. I should get someone down here who's a professional to check this out. It actually says Yahama, not Yamaha, Yahama. I'm just admiring the box here. It's the back of the box. So I've been meaning to get to this too. Man, there's so many samples over there that I still got to get to. All right, so that's the fan mail store updates. Not too much going on, but thank you so much for all your love and support on both the store and this channel. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I have a special guest coming up. I cannot wait to have her sit down. Uh, we'll build a set together and we'll do a review together. I'm gonna have to split the video up into two. It's pretty long, but it's really fun to have her come down and be on here. First female guest, yay. So 
yeah, I gotta work on that video now. And I'll throw some little ones in. Man, I gotta try, try my best to get some videos out to you guys. So thanks for hanging in there once again. And until next time, break me out. Boosh. You like that shit? Clean the table with my bare hand. Man, I was just about to close up the office. It ain't over yet. This just arrived in the office right now, so I thought I'd shoot this really quickly, so I don't even know if I'm in focus or whatever. But everything that you just see right here is mine. Actually, not all of it. Some of it is for the store. But yay, winter stuff has arrived, so I can't wait to try these out. I'm gonna start building some of these and review them for you guys. They do like the city theme. There's a hospital there. There's some vehicles here like that. Can you see that? Look at all this stuff. Oh man, some sports car stuff. Anyone else own some winner stuff? Because I wanna find out if this is any good. We saw this in the catalog video before. Yeah, I put it up there, you can watch it here too. You can see more, but they're all here. The whole series, look at that. Pizza shop, camera shop. It looks a little bit bland from the tiles, but I just like the exterior design of it. What else we got? I don't know what series this is. Oh, Dreamland, Dreamland, more Dreamland stuff. More kind of girly looking stuff. But hey, I'm down with that. We're gonna try this out. Yeah, look at this one. It's like a scary, spooky thing going on. There. Oh, and the trains have arrived. We got the cable car here and tons more over there. So awesome. New products. I gotta go and update the store. And there's one more thing that I'm really super excited about. I was just approved to be part of Amazon's influencer program. That means if you buy from Amazon through a link, which I have to still set up, and you buy official Lego stuff or other brick brands that you don't wanna buy from our store, just in case you wanna buy it from your Amazon account, you can, and I can make a little something out of it. What does that mean? That means I can just feed Tyler a little bit more, get the channel built up a little bit more, review more stuff for you guys, something like that. I thought that was actually really, really cool. So you guys can still feel comfortable and you can buy stuff and buy Legos. Yeah, all right.